Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 here. Everything vaping related, Junkie Rock 13. Today we're taking a look at the A7 Rebuildable Atomizer. This was sent to me from vapow.com. Um, it is a rebuildable atomizer that can be used with bottom feeding devices like the Rio. So we're gonna take a close look at it, wrap a coil, and see what I think about it. Let's get right to it. All right, folks, so here we go. This is the A7 rebuildable atomizer. This is, I believe, a chrome-plated brass. Okay. It has a 510 connection on the bottom with an air hole going directly up through the middle. There are no air holes on the outside of this device. But you can see these three little, tiny little cuts there and three little ridges there, little cut ridges. It is a standard 510 drip tip connection on top okay kind of like the Phoenix atomizer but different in the sense that there is no air holes on the outside of the top cap but through the middle so this device can actually be used for bottom feeding devices so you can have your little needle coming up through the middle of that air air hole there and feed juice into the bottom of this atomizer. You have a positive and negative post right there with two little holes right there for the little Phillips head screws to come in contact with. Now the way I set this device up is kind of similar to my Phoenix atomizer set up. I have a piece of three millimeter silica right here and a piece of 32 gauge cantho. I did have right here. Okay. Now how I do these, hopefully I'll be able to do this on the first try. is I kind of make a little loop like that, okay? And I start off by feeding the canthal through the hole. And instead of wrapping one piece of silica, I wrap it around the two pieces, okay? Now, I am sorry if I pull this out of cam, out of the shot, because I'm trying to do this Okay. I use this little dental tool because it has a little hook on it, and I can, I'm able to pull the can through through on one side. Okay. Should have pinched that together. Let me start over again right quick. All right. Then just wrap it up just like every other silica and canthal setup. Okay. And I'm going to do one more. Actually, I think that's good. And simple three wraps around there. And I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. Because they are touching each other a little bit. 
Okay. So I know it's hard to see. Okay. But basically, I have the silica coming, or the canthal coming out on both ends. Wrapped around three times with two little ears coming off. Now I am going to cut these, trim this off a little bit. Not a lot. Just enough. So it is touching, or it will be able to go down into the well a little bit. All right, now let's try to set this up on the device without ruining it. Oh, got a piece of silicon there. So I'm going to feed it through one side. I'm actually going to tighten down this end. Just bring that over. Now I'm going to have to bring the wick right over the air hole because you want where the coil is to be right over the air hole. You see that? And now the trick is getting this piece of canthal in here and pulling it through without it knotting up. up that little piece right here. Well, that's not what I wanted, but what happened? Well, it didn't go through, so I'm going to have to try that again. Let's just try this one more time. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a little bend in it and it's not coming through the hole proper. Let me just loosen this up and maybe that'll... There we go. I would just give it a little brute force. Okay. I'll make sure. Alright. Now we'll just tighten this down. Well, I did get it on the first try at least. I didn't want to do this over again. And I'll just break off the ends. Straighten this up, make it look pretty. And these little ears that are coming off, I'm going to try to stuff these down into the bottom down here. Okay. Now you can, I should have made them a little hair longer, but that's okay. All right, so now they're down into the bottom and they are touching where the juice is going to fill up if you have a bottom feeder. You're going to make sure that this is not touching the air hole. Straighten out all of these wraps so they're not touching each other. And let's give it a little fire. Grab my device. I just have an ego twist. I'm going to try it on. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, we have redness. And make sure it's not crossing over everything. I want to get a little bit further away from each other over here. There we go. Oh, 
Okay. I know it's hard to see. Okay. So I'm just going to grab a little juice right here. Some Panano Serenity. And just throw a few drops on it. The reason why I like to have a little loop up top here is because it utilizes the space up here in the top cap. So now this little area up here with the wick is actually holding juice, which really wouldn't be holding juice because this would be wasted space up in here. So now this section up here actually absorb some juice and we'll hold a couple drops of juice so there you go folks there is the a7 let's see how it vapes okay folks so there was the close-up and wrapping a coil for the a7 rebuildable atomizer <clears throat> now these atomizers the phoenix the dream the a7 they all use silica canthal and sometimes there is no difference between the two. Um, this has a little different approach to it because it takes the air from the 510 connector and draws it up through the tube and hits the coil that way. <clears throat> so if you do have a bottom feeder, it can work. Um, but if you are putting it on a device like this, you want to make sure that there is a way for the air to get into the 510 connector. On the Pravari, it does have a nice little space around the ring, right there, around the base of the atomizer. But if you have it on a device that sits flat and doesn't allow airflow to come into the 510 connector, you will not be able to use it on those devices. Um, I did have it on the twist but my twist yet died and it's over there getting charged right now. So I have it on the Pravari. I have it set at 4.3 volts <clears throat> and the coil is wrapped at 1.7. 1 1.7 ohms at 4.3 volts. Let's see how it vapes. I am vaping the senility from Panano, really tasty juice. I don't know what the mixture is in this. Let me see if it's a bit. reduced. Okay, so it's a PG, VG base. Um, I think it's a higher PG. Really solid vape, um, nice throat hit. I like the way that I wrap the coil with the little ears going down into the bottom of the well. So if you did have a bottom feeder, the juice will come up and into the bottom well and you'll be able to pick it up into the wick. <clears throat> and also, the little loop right there, when you're dripping down into the top, It's going to hit that loop and bring it down into the juice or down into the coil. And when there's any extra, it's going to fill into the base right down in there. You just have to remember that the air hole is that little tube down there. So you can't fill up that little well over that air hole or else you're going to get leaking down through your 510 connector. Um, other than that, this A7 rebuildable device has been a solid little rebuildable. Um, I suggest that if you are getting into rebuildables and you don't know what device to go, the A7 is an option. It's inexpensive. 
I believe Mapal still has them in stock. I know that a few other vendors have them also. They have different colors. And so, I mean, you know, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below to Vapau and check them out. It's the A7 Rebuildable Atomizer. Be kind to one another and keep on vaping, everybody.